Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new box office breakdown show here on Max Talks Movies. We're going to talk about the box office weekend of March 18, uh, March 18th to March 20th, uh, with again, no major new releases hitting theaters for the last time in a while. Also, look at the 2022 domestic and worldwide charts. Welcome back to Max Talks Movies. My name is Max Denberg. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring the bell. I do this show every single Monday, as well as other movie reviews, TV show reviews, and movie rankings. So please subscribe, ring the bell if you're new to the channel. I'm trying to get to 150 as quickly as possible. Comment down below what movie or movies you see in theaters this weekend. What are you going to see this upcoming weekend? And how many times are you planning on going? Like the video, the thumbs up button. Let's get started as quickly as possible with the this recent box office and not again shockingly no competition. So the Batman in its third week uh, with no competition all three weeks is in first place, dropped forty five percent after dropping fifty one in its second weekend. So thirty six point seven for the Batman. It takes its total domestic gross to three hundred million dollars. We'll talk about its chances to get to a billion. But it's already been leaked on Deadline and The Hollywood Reporter that the Batman is coming out April 19th to HBO Max. We are under a month away. It cuts its release strategy to seven weeks in theaters, and then it goes straight to HBO Max with no extra cost. Again, very different to the juggernaut that was Spider-Man, which is still in theaters uh, for over 14 weeks uh, before it hit even PVOD. We have to pay for it. So Batman... Uh, really with four more weeks to, without it going on HBO Max to see if it can get to that billion dollar work. With 300 domestically, it's doing very well. The only uh, two new releases hit, uh, are in the top five this past weekend. First is Jujutsu Kaisen, which is a, again, I'm not an anime person, but this is a brand new anime film. Uh, Demon Slayer did very well for the anime movie genre here domestically last year. And, and Jujutsu Kaisen does the same thing. It is number two at the box office this past weekend. $17.6 million in just under 3,000 theaters. Big news, as you, you can definitely tell here in the United States, there is a demand for anime films. Um, and the fact that Demon Slayer did really well uh, during the pandemic last year, and this film as well, anime is doing really good domestically. Um, and it is the new film of the week that did the best so far. Uncharted is still in the top five. Number three this past weekend in its fifth weekend, 7.8 for Uncharted, 15% uh, drop Uncharted now to $125.7 million as Tom Holland continues to prove that he is beyond Spider-Man, a proven mo bona fide movie star as Uncharted has done very well here domestically um, and also worldwide. The second new release this came out, that came out this past weekend that is in the top five is the new A24 horror film X. Uh, $4.4 million uh, in its domestic, again, not a big budget. X doing the best. There's a lot of other new releases, including Uma, which is a new Sandra O oh film produced by Sam Raimi. That did not even get in the top. It's in number nine this past weekend. Did not even get to a million dollars. So X and Jujutsu Kaisen doing well. X uh, for being a rated R, kind of an indie film for A24, getting in the top five is big news. Number five is Dog. Dog, just over, a, just under a million dollars, stays in the top five with $4 million, 21% drop. And uh, in its fifth weekend, it's got 54.2. Good news for this movie as well. And also, Chang Tatum's next film, The Lost City, comes out this Friday. So uh, Chang Tatum on a roll. See, that actually helps dog out a little bit if people want a Channing Tatum double feature. But as I was kind of about to say, for the first time, and now it's 14-week run, Spider-Man No Way Home is not in the top five this weekend. It is at number six with $3.1 million, a 22% drop. It is $3 million short of $800 million domestically. It will probably get there. But the big reason why, obviously, is because this was the first week. They moved it up a week, but this was the first week that it was available to purchase. Uh, you have to pay $24 or I think $25 for it for purchase, but this is the first week that you can watch it in your homes. And because Sony does not have a streaming service, it will not be on available on streaming service for quite a long time. So Spider-Man, first time it had to battle with itself being available on in purchase. It's obviously number one in all of the charts. Everyone's, it felt like everyone bought this movie the past weekend, but it still made $3.1 million. But for the first time, it's 14 week run. Spider-Man was not in the top five. Let's look at the 2022 domestic box office chart. 
The Batman is number one, still $300 million. We'll see how long it will stay at number one. Uh, Uncharted is at number two, $125 million. Those are the only two films to get over $100 million domestically so far this year. Scream is at number three, $81.1 million. It was just uh, announced earlier this week that Scream 6 um, has been officially announced and will be coming out in 2023. So next year, Scream 3, I think March 2023. So again, we're a year away from Scream 3 and obviously the money they made on this past Scream film, I mean, on Scream 6, sorry. Uh, but this past Scream film will def definitely help them get that sequel. Jackass Forever is at number four. Dog is at number five. Uh, has a chance to leave Jackass Forever this past weekend. So Channing Tatum could possibly have two of his films in the top five uh, domestically of the week of the year so far. Death on the Nile is a six, Marry Me seven, Moonfall is eight. In just one weekend, Jujutsu Kaisen joins the top 10 at number nine. Um, and the 355 finish out the top 10, number 10. Looking at worldwide based on American film, these are just worldwide movies, but we're just gonna talk about the American films in the top 10. The Batman is at number two. It has made $600 million worldwide, basically a 50-50 split between domestic and international. And based on the fact that it will be available on HBO Max in under a month, it seems now a bit unlikely that the Batman reaches a billion dollars. So we're kind of saying this after two weekends, but it is because of this HBO Max thing and the fact that the difference between this and Spider-Man is that Spider-Man is available right now at your home, but you have to pay $25 for it. But when the Batman hits HBO Max on April 19th, you do not, if you have HBO Max, you don't have to pay extra for the Batman. And you can definitely tell that that could be the deciding factor on this movie not being able to get to a billion dollars. We shall see. It needs $400 million more to get there. We'll see if it does. Still impressive numbers, though, for the Batman. Uncharted is number four this year uh, overall at the worldwide charts. 337 uh, uh, worldwide is made 125, as I said earlier here domestically, but 211 worldwide. So big news there for Uncharted. Scream is at number seven. Uh, Scream has $138 million and more of that coming domestically. And then Death on Miles is still number eight. A lot of that, only 33% of its money has come from domestic. So Death on Nile didn't do great here in the United States, but did amazing worldwide. So that is this past week's box office. The Batman is still reigning number one this upcoming, uh, this week, past weekend. But we finally have our second major release hitting theaters in the month of March. The first one since The Batman. And that is March 25th. This upcoming Friday is The Lost City. Channing Tatum's second big film of the year. Definitely his biggest film, Bigger Than Dog. That is coming out, and this is the last big movie coming out, obviously, in the month of March, because next week begins April, and Morbius is coming out uh, April 1st. So big upcoming movies basically every single weekend starting this upcoming weekend. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video. See you guys soon.